Hello and thanks for watching Gary Teacher's Maths. I'm continuing to go through the Edexcel higher tier paper from 2019 and this is paper one and we're on question five which is a question about translations and transformations on a graph. So we're told here that shape A can be transformed to shape B. So shape A here can be transformed to shape B by a reflection in the x-axis followed by a translation um, which is given in vector form here so followed by a translation cd in vector form column vector form so we're asked to find the values of c and d in this translation so first of all i'm going to do the reflection in the x-axis now a reflection means that every point on a is taken to the line of reflection and then goes the same distance on the opposite side so we can see this point here it goes two squares to the line of reflection um, in the x-axis horizontal line there and then we'll go exactly the same distance past so this point here is reflected to there similarly we can do the same with this corner it's better to pick the corners rather than the actual lines themselves and then once you've got the corners drawn in you can actually join them up so we'll take this point it goes two to the x-axis and then we go two past so that now takes us to there so we've got two of the lines in and at this stage you can probably see what it's going to look like but i'll do this final one so we can see from here it's five to the line of reflection so it's going to go a further five it's going to take us to this point here, which is minus five on the y on, in the y coordinate and three in the x coordinate. So we're just going to join them up. There we go. So that is our reflected shape A. I might just label that A dash. So that's showing me what's happened is A has been reflected in this x axis. The next thing to do now is we're saying that this a dash here is transformed by this translation c d so translation is just when you keep it in the same orientation i.e it's not going to twist round or reflect or anything it's going to be this way up but it's just moved and we're looking for the vector which would take it from where it is to its final position so I'm just going to look at one of the points again, this point on this corner, and look at the corresponding point on the new position. So there. If we can find the, this actual vector, which is the line from here to here, that is the actual translation vector. And we'd find that it would be the same for any point that we took. So if we take this point here, we would actually draw it to the corresponding point the vector from there to there would be the same as there was as it was from here to here. So let's have a look what happens. Well, we can see that in the x direction, which is the top one of these, because actually it's the x and then the y, and it's important to get it that way around as well. If you get it the wrong way around, it means you've got the question wrong. So um, what we've got is we're going to go to the left one two three four five six so that's a negative direction it's going in the negative direction for the x so it's minus six and then we're going to go down by one in the y so that is also in the negative direction for y so that takes us minus six, minus one and that's it we just need to say that c was equal to negative six and d was equal to negative one so we finish the question if we just want to look at this other point here though we'll see that it would actually be the same vector because we can see that we've gone down one in the y direction so the negative one there and we've moved by minus six in the x direction so it's the same vector because a vector is simply a direction 
with a distance. And so I hope that's been helpful to you. If it has, please like our uh, video and subscribe to our channel, which is Best Maths, uh, which is Gary Teaches Maths. And you could also look at our website for more help and videos, which is bestmathstutors.co.uk. Thanks for watching.